can go to bet365 and bet on this one because uh, after this one, the results will be pretty easy to bet. But oh my goodness. Shun. Zap onto the tower there. The Just log. cycling out two elixir each. Bar, <laughs> bar barrel. Okay, so he has the zap and the bar barrel. So. This is a very interesting start right now because the placements on things just don't make sense. There's the battering ram. Prince will take it out. Yeah, he will. Hunter no will take out the barb. And then we have a prince and a hunter bearing oh. down on your towers. Oh, normal barbarians, not the elite kind. Yes, yeah. prince. Ooh, that's a tough one for take for Shun, and he didn't want to take that charge. Onto the barbarian, I had to use seven elixirs to get that down. So, all right, will these bar, will that barb hut be able to save Shun here? We're going with the old blonde deck what? so far. This is the old blondes. Okay. We have. Okay, maybe the baby dragon has blonde hair somewhere. But barb, barb hut, ro uh, battering ram, and the barb barrel all blonde deck. Will he be able to win with it? That's the question. We see the guards from TNT taking this out. The hunter has to come in. We'll finish up everything because the hunter does so much defensive work. Yeah, it's Shona has four barbarian related units in his deck right now. Where's the barbarian balloon? No such That's thing. what we need in the no game. But the first punch does come through, not the second punch from TNT. It's gonna get the hunter to the tower. We'll get just one shot of that's very crucial. It does about a couple more hundred damage right there. 1678 on the left now. Yeah, 1678 remaining on that left hand side tower. The prince will charge in, take out one of the, bar the barbs straight away. Will poke the other one to death. As the mega minion in the back will protect against that inferno dragon. Good placed poison there. Hitting the bar out, but that battering ram answered by the guards one more time. Yeah, the guards will be there uh, just to take care of the mitigation of the damage and will not allow those four elixirs to get value on the right side. And we're going to split the barbarians this time around for Shun. Uh, the five elixirs split a piece and a good fireball uh, with the zap. Gonna eliminate the hunter, just doesn't want to deal with that, seems like. And we're going to have the infernal dragon taking care. Uh, the Mega Minion, but does get sapped away by TNT once again. Yeah, that Hunter did get one shot off, which took out the oh, front Barbarian. Good, good poison, uh, well read. And the, I think that's the Hunter again. Oh, oh it charges. It gets does it. get <gasps> hit this time. This is huge. This is actually huge, and it's going to take so much damage off of this, and just going to get that Mega Minion just to make sure that last damage does not come through. But 934, all of a sudden, Shun is in the lead now. Yes. Interesting the way he got it though. But that Mega Minion, oh, sapped just in time. It was about to get one hit. And that would have put us roughly even, I, I'd say. But that Barbarian Hut, the longer that sits up, the more value it gets. And look at what's happening on the right hand side. The poison, though. poison is there, but those Barbarians did get the charge. And look how much damage has been done. 1,023 remains on that. Shun now has two ways to finish. Wow. I think this might be game. I mean, he has two towers to choose from, meaning double tr trouble uh, for the side of TNT. Got to find a fireball uh, and got to have the hunter to finish out the infernal dragon. Maybe just barely does so. And oh man, 677. Closer and closer, we might just get TNT's first loss in the King of the Hills. But it's Mega Minion. It's going to try its hardest. The Minion Horde comes in. He's going to get Good value zap. against nearly everything. Though. And the Inferno Dragon is going to go down in two. No. All right. Still a lot remaining for Shun. Barbarian. In that push. The, the barbarians, barbarians are going to connect barbarians. onto the tower. That's it. That's it. There's no way to come back from this one because that's going to be 303. That's going to be a fireball and a couple of zaps away. So any type of damage uh, that Shun can do at this point. 273 down. The Hunter. We'll do everything that's needed. 72. It's one swipe. One swipe. It's Doesn't not going to get even get it. Shuts it down before it happens. TNT needs a miracle here. Fireball. Just one fireball. Away. Yeah, that's why he needs a miracle. It looks as though Shun is waiting for that fireball to rotate into his cycle. Doesn't look like he's got it yet. Shakes his head. There's a zap. Fireball comes in. Wow. Shun is Shun. Shun is Shun, takes out TNT. 
And we predicted that that would decide the match. We are going to have to find out if Shun can take out Iconi one crown and then Shadon Spook. That they won the games with. And they know, the rest of the members of OGN, they know that it wasn't their efforts that got them to win. But what so, I'm saying is that could overflow. Maybe that hopefully. positivity that's injected by TNT winning will reset the mind, the mindsets of OGN enters. We see the Royal Ghost here. And once again, we have Shun's Barbarian deck. This Barb deck, honestly, is insane. I want to copy it, but my Barb levels are way too low. I've never leveled them up. This is a very, very difficult uh, deck to pull off. And you will find out because playing the Barb Hut, you are calculating. Oh, oh, Slightly okay. different now. Barbs? Barb Hut and three Musketeers. That Saw the poison. That is so, so heavy. With the poison already used by oh one crown, God. how is he going to defend that? Mega oh, oh my God. The Royal... Okay. Maybe he should have opted for uh, going for those Royal Hawks on the right side with that Mega, mega Knight, but... Yeah, that did so much damage. Did so much damage. And 1388 on the right side. This Royal Ghost will be just left alone in the meantime. He does, go when when the Royal Ghost connects, he connects. He gets a lot of damage done. That, that 80, one little off. 86. There's only 500 difference between the two players right now. And a Miner comes in, he's gonna try and equalize that difference. Knowing there's no Tornado, he could put that Miner <laughs> wherever he wants. He's gonna get the 500 damage to equal up the match right now. Yeah, I love how Shun just looks at that Miner and just doesn't even look towards that direction. Just waits for seven Elixirs. To go with the Barb Hut onto the right side now, where he has more of the damage already being dealt. The Barb Hut buys him time to wait for the next nine elixir when he can drop down those three musketeers. This time, opt him for the rascals. This is a very, very interesting deck. It's a spell bait. It's, it's, you're just trying to ban out long, trying to ban out the poison, and now you're gonna get the scenario where the poison now has to be used on the left side, where a one crowd would definitely not want to this to be used because. You're putting a lot of value on the right side where you've already done a lot of damage and look at this damage coming on the left side. Even with the poison being dealt, you're using more There's elixirs. the Hogs as well, the uh, Hogs. The Royal Ghost is gonna try and answer them. The Mega Knight though, does so much defensive work on that right hand side for one crown. But look at the damage taken. On the left side, that's what it is. And uh, you can see this being played out here. And Rascal Girl will die out. And if that Miner isn't answered soon, he's going to take that tower down very, very low. 5-2-2 two, two remain. 1-4-5-4. Four, four. We only need one more tower. Could one crown actually win this game? It is in a very possible situation right now. The Hogs come down. The Mega Knight comes down early. Doesn't slow down the Hogs on the left-hand side. Uh -oh. Doesn't uh -oh. matter. Look what is pushing down on these towers. Mega Knight, Ewiz, Miner. Royal Ghost, the Miner is going to hit. Two, three, the poison is there. Oh. Can this Royal Ghost get a hit? No. The Mega Knight, the Mega Knight on the left side. That's going to be it. And Fireball. Fireball just barely the Royal that the Royal Ghost is, Ghost is going to come in. One shot and two shot. That should be good enough. And that's going to be one crown, one of the promised players that we have for OG Nantis. You put that in the pen and you tell me that he was going to win the game. And very much does so against the superstar of Shun if they have an extra four weeks. We can track back two weeks ago where we were talking about the pre-TNT of Ogenentis when he wasn't in the lineup. It was not a one-crowned, one-man team. Yeah, we remember it being that situation, but we sort of forget about it because of the prominence that was made by TNT as a single-handed player, but we are gonna see if one crown gained his fame by winning these games now. Looks like we're going to see Spellbait here. The thing is, with Tornado Band, that Miner suddenly has a whole lot more places it can go. Right? Ah, it can go the in the middle. Oh. oh my gosh. The Mortar is brought up by one crown. The Sparky. What do you expect? I mean, with the Goblin Giant, the only thing that comes with it is going to be a Sparky. Yeah, I know, but I'm still... I, I'm nervous. This could be two losses in a row for Sparky. Disastrous! Prince takes it out very, very easily. The Mega Minion will take out the Prince. Mega Minion goes towards the tower and probably will get hit by something, so it does no damage. So back and forth right now. 
And the long bait still going on with the miner. And now we're gonna look at this three looks. You're getting a lot of value here. And oh, great time long there just to make sure it's the entirety of those spirit golems. 18 19 on the left side, though, for Monkan, who has taken a little bit more damage overall than Zeros. Yep, Zeros doing his best right now to push through to take the victory. The Mega Minion played at the back. We're going to see the Giant Goblin played in front. There is the Mortar Toad. Will the Mortar be able to get any kind of... Will he be able to hold off this push? There is the Miner. The Miner's going to get one, two hits. But the, the Goblins, the Spear Goblins on the back of the Giant Goblin helping out the Royal Giant there. And he's still limiting to three hits overall. All these shots now, and we're going to be looking once again towards this Prince who will get one-shotted uh, by... Oh, on the turret. Oh. The Tesla was so close. Oh, that Sparky gets that one bit of one charge out. Over towards the Goblin Gang, and that's going to be taking crucial damage if you are one crown. Just using the bats for last-ditch effort, but Zeros is so far ahead in terms of the advantage now, and... It's gonna be ahead in HP, it's gonna be ahead in Elixir count, and it might be Zeros taking another win here. What can Zeros' last card be? If it is Rocket, he wins. If it's Fireball, he's very, very close to it. Actually, if it's Fireball, he wins now. 110 remaining on that tower. Whatever that last card is, it's gotta be enough to deal 110 damage, surely. There it Fireball. is. Fireball finishes off. Zeros Ooh. takes game with wow. to two. One again. Back and forth action and their hopes and dreams rest on his shoulders. But Zeros a game with at the bottom in blue, hoping, praying to keep game with in the runnings of the Japanese region. And Fireball just getting the magic archer along with some damage onto the tower. 201 to be exact. And we're gonna be going on with the spear going just Targeting them through, so you can get some pretty good value onto that one. The Mega Minion will take all of that here. It's, it's Sparky. Sparky has a 99.9% .9 win ratio in Clash Royale League Asia. After all, it did win that last game, right? Yeah. All right. But the Rascals here dealing damage. 1790 remaining. It's not very often you see the Rascal Boy get that much damage done. And that Sparky connects with the tower. Oh my goodness. Shannon Smokey. Uh oh. When do you see a Sparky hit a tower full face like that? The zap. It's going right on the correct timing. To make sure uh, you get the rest of the skeletons jumping out of the way. But 12.33 is going to be the count after one Sparky shot. Obviously helping out just a little bit by the fireball in the earlier aspects. But now you're looking to be a little bit trouble. If you are zeros. Using Sparky on the defense there to tank that Royal Ghost. That's rough, because this Sparky is pretty much his major offensive threat, right? We're going to see now, connects with a skeleton. That's not a good good trade. And he's going to connect with another skeleton. That's not what you want from your Sparky. At the same time, he had no other options for it. He couldn't take freeze shots coming off of a, the Royal Ghost. We know how deadly that can be. You just leave it alone at bay. There's a good fireball taking out that Magic Archer. Magic Archer can get so much value if you can work out the right angle. Uh -oh, there no is fireball. the Hogs. Lumberjack is going to defend on the right-hand side. Mega Minion is trying to defend with the bats on the left-hand side. And actually, That's very, good. very good defense there. That was actually pretty decent all the way through. So we are looking at Zeros trying to go for a counterattack again. Already having taken a lot of damage on the left side. And what is he going to be able to Oh, there's the Giant. Oh, giant good pullback. Sparky. This and is a very good combination. And look how he pulled back the Royal Ghost too. That was very important. Now allows the Sparky to get a free shot onto it. We are now looking at this Mega Mini is trying to swipe down Sparky. She probably the just The Hawks on the right hand side from Zeros uh -oh. getting work done. The Magic Archer doesn't find the angle there through the Lumberjack. Almost, almost got it. But that Lumberjack is going to connect to the tower. One, two, three hits. One, four, seven, five remain. Sparky now coming down that right hand side. But Skeletons and the Royal Ghost on the left-hand side for Zeros, interrupted by the Giant. Okay, the Penetrate does not go all the way through for the Magic Archer, so a little bit unfortunate there for Zeros. But 
Still have gonna have the giant moving through, but the Rascal Girls getting so much value right there. And you can see Rascal Girls die out, but the Magic Archer is still very much alive. The Spark is struggling to get through it. The Royal Girls, oh, it just dies out. That that Sparky got so many kills right there, but individual shots. What it'd be a fireball zap. Oh my goodness! Instant timing, perfect timing there. And there is one zap to take out the new tombstone. Takes out the skeletons. The bats are gonna try and take out that mega minion, but it's not gonna happen in time to save the Sparky. Has to use the lumberjack on the defense on the left hand on the right hand side. Mega Minion gets taken out by the tower. A giant again. Another Mega Minion from Shadow Smoky. Will he be able to get any more connections onto the Ooh, tower? That was actually very close. The fireball is a little bit misdirected there, so kind of a waste of that fireball. That might cost him here because you know, using it out to just four skeletons might not be the value that Shadow Smoky was looking for. He's going to find himself. Oh, and, he does get the and a double dash guard him. That's going to be game, and that's going to be an easy way to pull things off. And Shadow Smoky. Throwing away that fireball onto four skeletons in the end. A crucial mistake for him. And that's going to kill us all in to stay game. Yeah, 